This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi. Paradise, Louisiana is also brought to you by Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Finney's Car Wash and Oil Change, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, Dimco, and by Farm Bureau Insurance. Hey, welcome to Paradise, Louisiana. Here we are, the Holy Week. Our Holy Week, our Easter edition of Paradise, Louisiana, coming to you from Sapphire Bait and Tackle. And you know, since we're here, I want to talk a little bit about wardrobe. You notice the colors I got on. What? You know, purple is used to Easter colors. It's also, I think, I better wear a little bit because our, our LSU teams got swept this past week. But uh, also, last week was uh, epilepsy awareness, and everybody wore wore purple, so if you have people in your family like I do that uh, we wore purple a lot last week because of uh, epilepsy awareness with people with seizures. So uh, main thing right now is Holy Week. You know, and there's a lot of purple going on right now, and uh, it's a pretty color too, by the way. So now, while we're talking, I'm always over here, and I'm going I'm to sell something early. If you see me out, you know I got a bunch of pair of these shoes right here. These are the Shimano shoes. Evar, Shimano. Let me tell you what. They don't make them anymore. But guess who got a big supply of them? And they're selling half price. Right here, Superior Bait and Tackle. Now, they might not have your sizes, but they go from 12. You know, people got big ones, big feet. <laughs> and they're all the way to small sizes. Three colors. See, they ain't got the camouflage. Uh, you see them, I got them. They got beige. They got navy. <clears throat> and I'm, I got six pairs. I got the older ones. Do not slip. Nothing like the other shoes. You get on them wet decks and, and you wind up on your back. And uh, they're widow makers. This is not. So I want to tell you, they still got them at half price. You know, that's a $50 shoe, $50, $60 shoe. And uh, the half price here. Now, that's it. This week, uh, still fighting bad weather. We got some tournament reports from the Louisiana Bass Nation uh, High School qualifier at Henderson. I uh, got another, I got a, a few bass reports that are coming, but most of the fish are coming uh, uh, from up north right now. So I'm going to talk about some of the friends of ours right now. Uh, Got some lodges you can go stay and fish and relax. And uh, when we come back, Miss Angie and them finally sent me some reports. But uh, I just got word of my trip got canceled this week. Now we got a cold front coming. Kids are out of school. If you get an opening, go fishing right now. Uh, the brim's starting to turn on, but there's cold water. I'll tell you what, crawfish are hard to find right now, too. Stay tuned. You watching Paradise, Louisiana? I'm going to take this mask off when we go to talk. So you might be able to understand me better. You watching Paradise, Louisiana. For the thirsty, for those who hang out in packs, for heroes, for sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. My name's James Loop, and I won the uh, 2020 Chevy 1500. It was uh, first day at roughly 5, 36 o'clock in the evening. I was like, let's stay fishing. And she's like, nah, maybe we need to get back to the launch, you know? <laughs> yeah, I had a blast. It was a great summer tournament. Thank you, Super Chevy dealers, for my 2020 Silverado.
been asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? Who the heck is Benny? Guys, we are out of the deep freeze that we had in the late part of February this year. One of the coldest oh, of fronts we've seen in a long time. Got a nice warm foggy day. So we're gonna try a couple of different things. Steve's just swimming a matrix shed. I got the, our shrimp creole color TKO under our matrix float. Might try some jerk baits. Got a top water tied on. We're gonna do a little bit of everything as springtime is now here. And this is our exciting time of the year. Let's see if we can get one right here. Just bombing that cork out as far as it'll go. Most people, you know, know how to cork fish. This isn't rocket science here. You just wanna make long, long casts. Pop, pop, pop. Let it pause for about two or three seconds. Pop, pop, pop. Let it pause. And the whole trick to fishing these shallow bays and coves like this is you just put that wind in your back, cover a lot, a lot of water. Especially in the spring, these fish are gonna be really spread out. They're gonna change their location every day. There he is. You just gotta cover. Looks like we got a throw back here. That's also part of the transition of the spring. Very next cast, we could easily get a 20 incher. On this cast, we got a 10 incher. Look at that. Baits as big as him. We're going to have some fun today in the fog. Popping corks, maybe throwing some jerk baits, throwing some top waters. Water temperature right now is about high 50s, low 60s. I got to go look at it. But just a week ago, water temperatures were in the 40s. Now they're back up the high 50s and your spring fishing really starts kicking off around 60 degrees is the magic temperature that gets these fish going. That one's gonna be close to the keeper limit here in Louisiana. Our trout limit is 12 inches. They are talking about changing our limit from our 25 fish per person and also changing the size limit but as of now it's 25 per person i don't think we'll get to that number today but we are going to catch some right on that 12 inch border like this one right here it's okay to be little bitty even in your big city Pretty little trout there, catching them on the old matrix. Yeah, I got one too. Chance got one too. We're gonna switch the camera up. Double up. Double up. Is he still there? Yeah. Yep. Yes, sir. Double trouble. Hey, oh, that's a good one. Oh, look at that one. Why you gotta be bigger than me? The cork wins again. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Tell me he didn't want that TKO. Shrimp. Okay, Brett, safety and car insurance. Never scored a safety. That's defense. But go on, please. Uh, yeah, defensive. That, that's exactly how you should drive. Well, there's no such thing as a defensive drive. Offense makes the drive. Oh, I, I mean when you're on the road. But it doesn't matter. Home or away. <sighs> okay, clearly I'm striking out here. Um... That's baseball. Get great auto rates from Farm Bureau Insurance. Call your agent today. For the thirsty, for those who hang out in packs, for heroes, for sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone.
Pause moving and storage. We just sold our house. Congratulations. We have two weeks to move. We'll deliver a few containers. Our new home's not ready. No problem. You can store things with us while you're between homes. We might need help. We'll refer trusted packers. We'll be staying at my brother's. Well, that sounds... He has kids of his own. Well... Five of them. Ma'am? Help. Trust us for local and long-distance moving and store at our storage centers. Pods. Moving and storage solved. Welcome back to Spear Bait and Tackle, and welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Uh, the Louisiana High School Bass Nation uh, held their qualifier last week, and they went to Henderson, and you know the water had been rising in this bad condition, but still some of them people caught fish. I want to thank Tommy Abbott, too, for uh, sending them and uh, sending us all these reports and keeping us posted, sent us a few pictures. So uh, let, let, let me tell you about the winner. Uh, Walker High School, Luke Farashi and Jace Martella, two good boys with Italian heritage. I'm proud of They brought in five fish alive, and they weighed 13.26 pounds, and uh, their, their limit was anchored by a nice 4.4-pound largemouth. The top five uh, was uh, second with Livonia High School with Garrett Whittington with five fish. They had nine 9.71 pounds and 420 big bass. Third was Catholic Point Capi, Benjamin Drummerville, and David Gummo, Gummo or Gummow. Five fish, 9.54 pounds, and had a 4.8 pound kicker, big bass. And fourth was East Baton Rouge Bass Masters, Jordan Sylvester, and McVeigh Stockwell with five fish weighing nine pounds. Hold on a minute. Behind me. Fifth was the Barb Fishing Club, Wade Roberts and Zachary Lambert with a nine pound stringer. So Big Bass went to Bojo Parish High School Fishing, Jace White and Cole Golden. A big fish was 4.88. Thank you again, Tommy Abbott. So that, that's the only tournament report I got. There's a lot of tournaments, a lot of rodeos coming up. Uh, I, I, I'm going to give you a shout out. I'm going to be going to Grand Isle pretty soon. Uh, Buggy sent me a picture of a, a shrimp boat that got on the rocks right there at Sand I mean, excuse me, at Bridgeside. Sand Dollar Marina, okay, has been in the Gaspard family for years and years and all the, down there. Butch and them had a few sickness problems. He'd been wanting to sell it. Finally, I'm going to introduce y'all soon to the new owners a Sand Dollar Marina in Grand Isle. They're getting ready. It's a lot of money being spent, a lot of work. Uh, I talked to Mr. Kent Seminole, and he is the person that's been doing the work over there. Here's some pictures. I'm going to send you one picture of where they raised it already, 15. They're getting ready to block it up. They'll be through with it in about a week or so, and uh, I'm going to go down there and, and, and give you a little report and see what all's going on at Grand Isle, because a lot of things coming up in Grand Isle, and uh, a lot of the tournaments that might be coming back now, things are opening up a little bit. So stay tuned. We'll be right back with a Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report. My name's James Loop, and I won the uh, 2020 Chevy 1500. It was uh, first day at roughly 5.30, 6 o'clock in the evening. I was like, let's stay fishing, and she's like, ah, maybe we need to get back to the launch, you know? <laughs> yeah, I had a blast. It was a great summer tournament. Thank you, Super Chevy dealers, for my 2020 Silverado. I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract a driver. 
and you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. Okay, Brett, safety and car insurance. Never scored a safety. That's defense. But go on, please. Uh, yeah, defensive. That, that's exactly how you should drive. Well, there's no such thing as a defensive drive. Offense makes the drive. Oh, I, I mean when you're on the road. But it doesn't matter, home or away. <sighs> okay, clearly I'm striking out here. Um... That's baseball. Get great auto rates from Farm Bureau Insurance. Call your agent today. I've been asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? Who the heck is Benny? Welcome back to Sapir Bait and Tackle and the Berkeley Ibu Garcia Fishing Report. I, I, I don't really know where to stand because we had some, so many bad trips or canceled trips, but there's a lot of fish being caught. So, uh, you know, I, I'm going to start off with the fish right now. I, I'm going to talk about a little freshwater I'm in here. And most of the freshwater fish I'm hearing are coming from up north. You know, Toledo Bend. Right now, Gary Cross caught a big bass down. He's been over there the whole time catching bass. Uh, he told me he's going to loan me some video. You know, he's one of the best videographers there is, but uh, he, he, he also wanted a better fisherman, and he loves Toledo Ben. He's been almost camping over there, so he sent, his, sent me a picture of the fish. He usually he sends me pictures from Venice or there just to make me envious, okay? Now, uh, Celine Lotto, um, you know, our good friend and part of our team, uh, Brendan Dubrock, uh, they got the lodge going on and they're catching fish. And uh, they're, not, they're not spider rigging right now. They catch them up in the bank, again, the trees. They're using monkey milk jig on slip cork. So to get down to where they're at, they're using the dip finders and see where they're at, and they're catching some beautiful ones. They're not catching a whole lot of numbers, but look, catching some beautiful saccalay and the beautiful lights. So y'all can get in touch with him at, 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 uh, uh, at his lodge. Now, this is new now. I got my, my buddies over at Top Gun. I'm going to show you some turkeys he's been killing. But Top Gun is one of the better hunting lodges up there in, in, in the north part of the state. Well, there they got their cabins. And they've been laying vacant and everything. But then I fixed them all up and they got a little getaway. So you can rent a cabin. It'll be on the water. They got the sloughs in the back. They're catching some monster brim right now and bass in their lake right there. You just walk out to camp. You go over there and fish. You can bring your own boat. Or I, I, I don't know. You probably, I know they got some batos hanging around there. You should see them in hunting season. So uh, it's, it's a great getaway. Is back off you by yourself. There ain't but there's four great cabins in this. You got everything you want: television, internet, whatever. So uh, I said, Top Gun. You call that Kobe Daniels. So talk to him. Talk about him a little bit later on. Uh, I, I got an old friend of mine, the captain. <laughs> used to captain. He cut our grass and cut our yards. He was working. Amazing young man. Uh, whatever bite. Charters. He had that. He he fished and he contracted out in in uh, Slidell and Grand Island. I don't care where you wanted to go. He knew about it. He would go fish and he caught a lot of fish. He had a baby. Started doing it. He sent me a bunch of pictures. He'd been like he's doing whatever bites. And uh, I ain't heard from him. In my life. I don't even know if he's if he's still chartering. But uh, I left him a message to call me. Uh, the Anthony McWillie sent me. These are a bunch of pictures. I don't know whatever Kirk going to do it. Uh, also, I got a picture of a young lady. They call her the best woman angler in the state, all her friends. They got a picture of her with 11 four-pound bass uh, coming out of a lake. They didn't tell me. All they said, and then you see her. I know she catches redfish, too, all the time down on the coast. So 
Kathy Barbe, congratulations. A lot of people think a lot of you. So, now, let me don't want to miss nothing right here. Uh, like I told you, Toledo Bend right now, Sacolay and the Bass. But you know, these winds and these north winds and all these storms that have been coming, uh, they're going to mess it up. Now, the big bodies, they might get a little bit muddy, but you'll find some clear water. Spillway, forget it. Don Hudson and all them boys have been telling me they're going to take me fishing. Didn't do it. You saw they're still catching fish at Henson. Don't know how, but it's up too. And, but you've seen that bass tournament, the Bass Nation. Those, those kids, <laughs> they caught fish. And I know some other people catching fish at Henson. So if it ever settles, even the water high, and you know how to fish the trees, you can catch some fish over there. Now, I'm not going to want to miss nothing. I said the spillway, let me see, I've got them all. Uh, over there on the North Shore, Tufunkty River still catching Sacolay. They got a lot of rain too, but it, it's going down. And Amy River is but almost up to flood stage, and it's dropping every day. Take a little while here to clear up if we don't get any more rain. But come this week, my trip is canceled for Wednesday. It's supposed to have 80% chance of rain. And you got this north wind right now blowing. It's going to be in the 40s. So if you got your crawfish balls good Friday, bring you a jacket because that wind going to be blowing and it's going to be cold in the mornings. It's going to get up to about 60. So I'm not a weatherman, but I was, it's what I'm reading and what I've been planning my Holy Week. Right now, it's, mostly it's going to be about eating and spending time with, with family and kids and grandkids. So let's do that. Don't forget, you know, it's a good it's time that we reflect and uh, how God gave us the Savior. And because uh, people like me, without a merciful God, I don't know what would happen. So I'm going to be sure and get the word out there. My, my guy that always prayed for me, John Bernard, this week you missed me out, you left me out, John. I didn't get a picture, but... Uh, he he been catching some fish in Dulac. I got some saltwater reports now, and the one I'm more excited about is at Grand Isle. Captain Herc Keith Booth, <clears throat> bedroom, has been going back and fishing the moth behind the Grand Isle. He fished in all the cuts and and where the canals are meeting on them points. And here's some pictures right there from uh, bedside where he, Herc has been catching some fish. I mentioned. Sand dollar, and when I said, I said, Kent Seminole, was, I'm sorry, Kent, it's Kent Shea Schneider. Coon Shea Schneider was a daddy. they legends. And Santa Maul, he's a coach. Uh, they're doing most of that work over there, and he's the one probably I'm going to be making a trip with and showing you what's all been done at Grand Isle and what's coming up this summer, this spring and summer. So, you ought, don't forget, Star, you got your early sign up. Star is right here. Time to go. Let's talk about a little bit more saltwater fishing. Uh, and, and Island Marina, all the captains over there, all them boys are sending me, sending me pictures, uh, the captains. But it's not every day. They're good out there. One day they do a good job. They catch fish. And then the next day the weather got them muddy. The lake is muddy, muddy, muddy. I just talked to the captains today. I talked to my friend, uh, Ken Lambert who we, we were supposed to go take Lynn Rollins and Jeff Brenner. We were supposed to have a trip planned, and uh, they've been catching them on the bridges. They've been trolling now. And they also, let me, let me state this. Grand Isle got a lot of shrimp. They also got a lot of cockahoe minnows. Miss Angie and them have been having a hard time right now. Some of the shrimp have been having boat trouble. They've been having a hard time getting shrimp. But cockahoe is doing the same thing. They're using cockahoes. They fished them Carolina rig. They're using them under a cork. And they're also drop shotting. They're using, remember, live cockahoe minnows. But this is the one the captains have been catching fish on. Right here. See that one right there? Limbo spike. That's their color. Very good. This old standby right now. See right here, they're going to talk about the lemon head. You know, it's really chartreuse and white. Stands up right now with that muddy water. I, I can't tell you. Now, this is what we were fishing back 
in the Biloxi marsh and everything went fishing. We was catching bass, redfish, and trout on this bait right here. That's the magneto. Okay, that's the matrix. Trolling, I showed you all last week. Rattle trap with the old type squid on it, dipped in short truce, garlic, 2.8 miles an hour. These guys, they're doing, using leaded line, and uh, they're catching some beautiful trout. Trolling the bridges right here. My cousin Raymond, he don't give out too much, but this is what he trolls. He's got a mirror lure, all one that got all the same shine, all the chrome in there. He, this is it, that suspending bait, and they troll him with this and with the squid. So, anything else I see? I don't know what else I got. Uh, Brim is starting to turn on. Varetnim has been muddy and windy, but uh, Sacolay, still you can find them Sacolay if you find them clear canals. And see what this wind going to do. All this week is predicted to have a lot of wind, and uh, that's why my trip's canceled. Just remember what's going on Easter Sunday. Go to church if you can. Be safe. Don't forget, superior bait and tackler. If they don't have it, they'll get it. God bless y'all. God bless Louisiana. Happy Easter. Don't kill too many, don't eat too many chocolate bunnies. I'm Gary responding one more time. Keep wearing that mask when you get out. Paradise, Louisiana is also brought to you by Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Finney's Car Wash and Oil Change, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, Dimco, and by Farm Bureau Insurance.